Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. More of the Talus Principle 2 tonight. Hopefully to continue our... Oh, wow, we're about a quarter. Yeah, like a flat quarter of the way through here. Um, to continue our streak of doing, like, one little section a night. That seems pretty good. Pretty good clip. Not too rushed, uh, not too slow. Just right. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, but now we've done, uh, like, this entire first eastern section with the exception of uh uh the one little lab up there which we'll go back for eventually but not right now but now we can advance perhaps to to another of the bigger areas so let's let's do that climb back into futuristic travel part one here oh but we have to go back to to base camp or whatever first i suppose <clears throat> This is fine. So we we shot the big the big red fuck off laser into one side of the pyramid to join the the blue and the green big fuck off lasers. And now that opened what a triangle door or something, right? So away we go to figure this out. Nano machines. It's a lot worse than that. A lot worse than nano machines. Is a completely unknown type and state of matter. Oh. Completely inexplicable within our oh. I mean, I don't know if that's worse or better. And manipulated by someone. There we go. Okay, yeah, see, look at that. That that shit's open. We gonna fly in there, uh, presumably. Um, but we're at the center bit again, huh? Uh. So now that we know what various symbols and shit are, um, mostly. Let's go take. Let's poke around this little area first, because this had this had a star associated. Oh, it's like normal ass substation sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Um, seems dangerous not to have it fenced off and clear of debris, but hey, what do I know? Um, so there's a star thing over here, probably. At least that's what the uh, compass is telling me. So let's see. Let's go investigate. Um. If, oh, yeah, look at that. Wait, that's not... Oh, no, that is the... Must be a very distant rendering of the red fuck-off laser there. Okay, um... So if this matches the other ones, then there's... Possibly, like, a, a laser bit? But I guess that's both the... That's the Sphinx, that's Pandora, and that's Prometheus there, huh? So all three... So this might be a, a three-parter figure out the star bit thing, huh? But you know, I'm kind of into, kind of into. Oh, release stars. Uh, do I want to do that? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Here. Oh, I didn't realize we like had them absorbed into our robot body. But okay. Huh. Interesting. So here's where we go to deposit our stars. Um. Let's see, we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 remaining. Does that track? 2, 4, 6. Yeah, that does track. 18 additional. Okay. Well, that's something to keep an eye on. That might be the big unlock with all the stars. Um... Remember if there is any. Oh, I see. These are the different. These are relay points for the lasers. That's what's going on. Interesting. Okay, I'm curious if there's anything more. Kind of around here, we it kind of shanghaied real quick to go to that uh, the first little tiny part. I think it was probably Byron was like getting impatient or something. So we're like, yeah, fine, whatever. We'll go go to the other island or whatever. Let's see if we can see anything else around here first because we had the first bit right we had to unlock the, the transportation thing for melville to fix or whatever and then maybe we ran into just a bunch of stone walls and shit that we couldn't climb over even with our fancy robot body so maybe that's why we decided to move on a couple tunnely looking bits here not seem particularly accessible though. And then this. Okay, okay, here's the, one of the Golden Gate things too, right? Oh, but this apparently is entirely separate from the other ones because none of these bits are lit up now. 
Hmm, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, well, I mean, we're here. And we should probably go talk to everyone else and be like, Hey, yeah, let's go fly into a weird murder death hole thing. It's fine. Surely nothing bad will happen here. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm glad I investigated that at least. And we know what's going on a little bit, huh? Yeah, look at that thing. Damn, it's huge. It's big. Big ol' pyramid. I'm kind of curious if at some point we'll get to go back to the city, too. Gee, of course, Byron. Fucking impatient-ass motherfucker. No, what if I want to look around a little bit? Are we the last one? We're the last one. Of course we're the last one. That's fine. Okay. Well, I guess there's not really anything else. What if I want to go in this door? Yeah, cool. Aye, aye, sir. Have any of you ever read an ancient writer called Ian Banks? Uh, uh... I guess not. No? He postulated the concept of the outside context problem. Okay. That's when a society encounters something so advanced, so different, that they simply could not have conceived of it. Okay. That's what this is. I mean, yeah. This whole place is one giant outside context. I mean, not really, since I'm solving we all the puzzles and shit. Right, into it. right? So it's not completely not understood. Ooh, pants. I think I can set down over there. Should I? Please do. Yeah, I, I mean, wait to get a closer look. what else are we gonna fucking do in here? <laughs> yes. Don't exactly have jetpacks that we can fly around on our own. We gotta land this motherfucker and look around, I guess. Ooh, slow it. Down. Okay, everyone. Oh, we need to explore glowy as much as and shit. Separately, if need be, but stay in touch. Record anything interesting you find, and pay special attention to any clues as to who. As, as to who? The schematics we found oh. in that lab <laughs> are extremely incomplete. They got cut so off by the loading zone we entered. Those. It's that funny. Right. I think someone should stay at the VTOL just in case. Yeah, exactly. Of course. See, open mouth get shit to do. AKA, you get to stay here. But, you know, this, this weird, like, structure thing that's almost certainly alien, so it's like, yeah, it's probably safer here. If you need to jet the fuck out of here, like, he'll be the first one back, and he'll just leave the rest of us behind. It's fine. Okay, in we go. You, you guys, you realize you could have just fucking stepped down here. Saved yourself a whole lot of time. Oh man, okay, so we got some side rooms. Yakut's just going straight for the goal there. So I'll just look around on my own. Ooh, a bunch of different doors. A second one, what do you mean, hold on? What? For that door. Okay. Maybe after that you can help me with this elevator. <sighs> one problem at a time. What's going on with these vast structures? <sighs> okay, door should be opening. Thank you, Melville. About the elevator. Make Actually, sure it's gonna the open. elevator's fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean it elevates, doesn't it? No idea where I am, but it's working. Don't go too far. Try to circle back. On it. Fuck you, Byron. Yakut will do what Yakut wants to do. I know you're expedition leader and all, but you can't tell us all what to do. <laughs> Whoa. Alright. Well, that's a long drop. Oh, 
Oh, hey, you're cute. Wow, look at that. Hey, 1K, can we talk for a second? It sure. That whole thing with the elevator just gave me the creeps. Uh-huh. So? <laughs> no, I want to keep exploring. Here, I was really excited. <laughs> nah, you, you could, it's good. I will talk to Technology is so advanced. If we figure out what it all means, we, we could really change the future of New Jerusalem. Okay, yeah. The mayor says we have to avoid repeating the mistakes our ancestors made. Yeah, to okay. To stay humble, to not reach too far. Uh, well. That sounds very abstract, but I've seen the ancient cities. Yeah. I've seen how much they built. Okay. How much they grew. Uh-huh. How far they fell. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've been thinking. Get to the bloody point here, you could. What's up? What us on the same path? What if this is too much power for anyone to control? Mm. Yeah. It could be dangerous. We need to understand it. I don't think that I don't think what went wrong with our ancestors was too much power. Oh boy, do I have bad news for you? Um, the original impulse is correct. New Jerusalem needs this technology. It's more complex than that. Power isn't necessarily good or bad. Uh, okay, yeah, I kind of agree with that. It's too early to tell. The major's premise is wrong. He's assuming history can only develop in one way. Uh, that's also true. Boy, um, there's only like two or three of these that are flat out not correct, but, um, I mean, anything can be dangerous, right? But I think I align most with more complex than that. Power isn't necessarily good or bad. So what do you think it was? What made our ancestors destroy themselves? <laughs> um, well, uh, <laughs> It was just bad luck? Oh, hell no. It's not just bad luck. Are you kidding me? No. Um, also, I wanted to do things differently. Political systems wouldn't let them. Okay, I kind of agree with that. Uh, priorities wrong. If they had properly invested in medicine before the virus. Okay, I kind of agree with that one, too. Uh, they weren't careful about the side effects. I agree with that one. Actually, a lack of power. I don't know if I agree with that one. Um, boy. Yeah, there's a couple of good choices here. <laughs> And the fucking big ass shrug. It doesn't matter what it was. We we aren't them. Um, what was the question again? What what do I think happened to humanity? Ah oh, boy. Um. Um. Not careful about the side effects. That seems. But that's exactly what the mayor thinks. So. Their obsession with growth damaged the planet. Okay, it doesn't make it and wrong. That's what killed them. All right. That's not the growth itself, that's the problem, it's how you grow. Okay. Truish. Didn't kill them, they're still here in us against blah 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 blah. Alexandra believed in civilization and technology. Okay, that's partially true as well. Uh, there are ways of controlling those side effects, they failed to use them, that doesn't mean we have to. Uh, I mean, I didn't. Did I out and out say the mayor was wrong? I don't think I did. Um, it's not the growth itself that's the problem, it's how you grow. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Sometimes I just get too pessimistic. Yeah, I mean, Yaku, come on, fuck up, man. That was the whole <clears throat> point of the simulation. Was it? I thought the point was to solve Thanks puzzles. Thanks talking to me, 1K. <laughs> I know we're in the middle of something, but I kind of needed that. All right, no, no problem, Yaku. You're welcome. You know, keep doing the good. Don't listen to Byron. Oh, you're going to walk this way? That's fine. All right. I want to check out that creepy elevator you were talking about, too. Oh, yeah, this weird old little. Oh, this is one of the. It's like a larger version of the thing we found in one of the labs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, I see a familiar looking little circle portal thing. Does that mean there's puzzles around here? I hope there's puzzles around here. Yeah, Koot's gonna fucking hate me by the end of this. He'd be like, oh, yeah, 1K, all he cares about is puzzles. Looks like another like, set of puzzles. Yeah, that's true. Hey, so what did I just say? <laughs> like some sort of fractal symmetry. Oh, boy. Fractal symmetry with three parts, though, that's kind of bold. This three is the magic number for many things, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Eight little bits. Look, hey, if Yakut's imitation of us was better, I would be less salty about it. And he, the, the, the real funny bit is that he's not even wrong, but even still. 
Okay, um, well, this is like the puzzle end thing, though. We need to- oh! Wait, when did we get these bits? Did we get these bits? We must have gotten these bits at some point, huh? Uh, Hey, we did it. Also, how you doing, Omega Weapon? Good to see you. Um, alright, so yeah, uh, okay. You know, the baby's first Tetris bridge, thanks. Wait, where's the exit bit there? No, that's not right. And then we can only... Yeah, all right. Well, we ran into that. Oops. Um, does that work? No, because we can't jump. We could totally make this jump, but they won't let us. <laughs> they won't let us jump on the Tetris bridge. Don't like it. All right, well, let's try this again then. Let's go let's start with the J or the Z or the whatever piece that is. And then that one. And then that one. And then that one. Hey, look at that. Okay. Oh, we've got another, uh, a few little icons on the top left there now. Oh, I see a big fuck off. Well, I turned off big fuck off laser up there. And, oh, actual puzzle. All right. Okay. We've got single laser bit. Blue source, red uh, red sink there. Um, green bit, which means we'll probably have uh, a combo bit in here somewhere. But we got a single one there. Um, what's on the other? Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, well, this is interesting. This might just be part of a larger hole, huh? Because there's not really much of uh, much to work with here. I feel like we'll probably be blasting green in from outside somewhere. Possibly red in order to unlock this to get to blue. Oh no, we'll be blasting red in from somewhere else. And then blue source is there. Uh, oh boy. Okay, well, come back to that. Uh, where are we going? Oh, I see. I see what's happening. Blip. Uh, blip. Oh, that doesn't work, huh? Like that, we could see we could do it in three pieces instead of four. Look at that efficiency, but they don't let us. And all right. Uh, boop, boop. Uh, oh, well, that one's entering on the side. That's interesting. Uh, boop. Uh, boop, and then yeah. Like that. Okay, that'll work. Alright, okay, so here's the combo bit. Yeah, see, look at that. And there's the green bit over there, so yeah, that's correct. Almost certainly, we'll probably have to redirect blue back here to get the green going, right? And there's the red. Uh, I guess I'll do it like this for now. And move this over. So then that'll unlock that. We got the budget for... That's right. We got the budget for four, so we have to use four. Otherwise, next budget cycle, they'll reduce us to three. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Fucking stupid. I hate that you're right. You're right, though. Okay. So now we've got... Uh... Okay, it's going to be interesting. We're going to have to whip this around, I think. Because so we're going to still need to do... Uh, let's do blue and like put it over there, I guess, right? Because we'll need to keep that running. Um, okay, that's still good there. Um, I guess the only thing I really need to do is uh, connect stuff, right? Or no, I need to. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Baby's first combo laser puzzle, pretty much. But okay, that's that's cool. I like that they split it up into two different parts there. It's pretty neat. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, this is uh looks like the blue fuck off laser here then. Very good, very good. Uh, 
Hell yeah, surely this will not go wrong. Okay, yep, that's Good job, one, one of the three. Thanks, Byron, for that you know, partially backhanded compliment. <laughs> I pulled a lever, whoop de fucking do. Um, alright. Like, okay, so Yakut's out exploring, right? We'll leave him alone. Melville's probably doing some fun, sciencey engineering shit. We'll leave them alone. Alcatraz is back at the fucking, uh, uh, little VTOL ship thing that we came in, so that's fine. But what the fuck is Byron doing? I'm gonna guess a whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of fucking nothing. Oh, this is Sparta. <laughs> the supervisor just sits on his ass. Yeah, see? Like, yep. Perfect fucking middle management right there. That's what he's doing. Got another thing over here. Okay. Alright, well, we got this first. Right. Got a red, we've got a... Oh, it's already kind of connected up. Got a red and a blue and a box. Inverter. Um, so before we disconnect that, let's see what this is doing here. I guess it's holding this door open, right? The red. Got another blue going there. There's the blue source. Um, that's gonna be problematic. What do we got happening here? Oh, we just got a normal ass. Normal ass single laser thing. That uh, I think we just need to disconnect from everything, right? So then we'll get red going. Get a red source over here. That we can then turn into a blue with this inverter, right? Oh, not like that. There we go. Oh, and it's just low enough that it can get through there. All right. Very good. Was oh, that just straight up it? Where's the... Oh, no, this doesn't have power. Okay. So we're not done. Might be the other thing that I skipped over there. Um... Yeah, where's that thing I'm get power from? Well, let's see what we got. That's too far away. Alright, let's start with this. Go like that. That's also too far away. Um, so let's start with... Oh, that's weird. Okay, start with that. Uh, no. Rotate, and then there. How far down this goes. <laughs> How'd you jump down there, Yaku? Take a look. Let us know what you find. Um, no, I actually don't do that, Yaku. Tell Byron to go jump down there. And, and let us know what he finds. Um, where the fuck are we up here? Okay. Um, and what do we need to eventually get power to? Came from like over there, right? Okay. All right, got a little tunnely bit. Red source. Oh, normal ass. Red bit here. And that goes to. Ooh. Kind of gross, but I guess we can do it like this, right? Yeah, look at that. Oh, that just opens that. Uh, well, I guess here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that, and then I'm also going to connect it here. 
so then when we open this door, that'll be right. Okay, because presumably we can go around that side somehow. Oh yeah, up and around this way. Maybe. Or down and around. Or maybe not. Because I don't have the angle to, to do it here, right? Presumably there's some other way to open that. Or, alternatively, here's what I'm gonna do. I could maybe just do, like, set that there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. All good. Okay. Very grusky on this one. Green fuck off lasers now gone. Yeah, see that that was a genuine Alcatraz compliment there. Thanks. Thanks, Al. Can I call you Al? I'm gonna call you Al. When Byron calls you Al, he's kind of being a shit, but when I call you Al, it's a term of endearment. Um, so how did we get over here? Can we come down from here, right? It's really just a set of those now. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that's how we get over there, right? Um, I'm gonna go back and look at that other lever, because I feel like that should have been maybe the last of it? This is how we got up here. I like I should have just been able to pull that lever, or... Did I just not get close enough to it to- oh yeah, I, that's weird. It didn't light up last time when I did it, so that's the red fuck off laser, right? Yeah, okay. I do want to, you coot. Thank you. I am gonna. Oops, I don't know. I don't want to skip that. Sorry. Just tapping buttons. Oh, that was it. <laughs> okay. All right. We did it. It's all of this big ass area just to turn on three lasers, huh? Can I jump down here? Yeah. <laughs> Shortcuts. Um, yeah, it's just over there. Well, what the heck? What the heck's over there? Why is there like another set of bridges over to something that appears to be either un? Oh, I guess that was just an alternate way over there. We kind of made a different circuit here. That's fine, I guess. And now, for the kind of request, everyone to stop calling him Alan Teams because new fat heck. <laughs> Ha. <laughs> uh, because the lowercase l looks like an uppercase i and people are unhappy with the whole quote unquote 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 ai thing which that's yeah okay i you know what i get that i respect that i respect that play 100 percent respect that play um I, I guess if we went up there right there that would just lead us to the same spots yeah no point going over there uh, okay. There we go. Kind of disappointed they don't light up at all. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Alright. Hit the wrong button. There we go. Okay, three slightly smaller fuck-off lasers. And then some other thing here, all right? Just another side bit over here. No, eh, go left or right.
Okay. A little bit of water. Ain't hurt nobody, right? A lot can kill you. A little bit, not so much. Have a look around the clearly important center bit, right? glowy bit. Let's go stick our hands in that. Zzz. Question, huh? Well, maybe we have an answer. Uh, oh, Miranda's asking a question. I'm reading last trial is running and I came across something I don't understand. A lot of references to ancient humans feeling that science is boring. I, um, okay, yeah, uh-huh. I mean, everything we're studying is mind-bendingly incredible. It's quark gluon deconfinement or neutrino anti-neutrino oscillations or even something incredibly basic like the properties of light. Um, I wouldn't call the properties of light basic, honestly. Light is fucking complex as hell. Um, I understand why our ancestors cared about art, why beautifully captured story of poems moving. I see that everything that surrounds us is just incredible. Studying science is like studying the most incredible machine ever created, a machine designed to build worlds and tell stories. I did not see that. I'm sure there's a good explanation, but I don't get it. You know what, Miranda? I'm kind of with you. Kind of with you there. Science is pretty fucking cool. It's real tough mind-bending shit, but it's pretty cool. And what the hell is that? Oh, it's a, a schematic or whatever. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Never load more than 100%. feel like we should have learned this by now. Mother? What are you thinking about, Mother? The Talus Principle. You see... Oh, it nice title drop. Oh. One is to the self. Okay. It means facing the truth, even if it frightens us. Okay. Understanding that living beings are machines and we can't afford to lie to ourselves. But that's just the beginning. The second application is Don't to mind the world. Me. I'm just gonna listen here. This one seems easier at first. It's less difficult to understand that the universe is a machine governed by laws. So we and the universe are the same. No. And that's the crucial part. We are conscious. Consciousness is rare, unlikely, but it's also the foundation of everything else. Without us, there can be no meaning. Without someone to perceive it, the beauty of the universe is pointless. I mean, that's kind of that a, a downer way to think about it. No, in fact, it means we carry a tremendous responsibility. We are the light of the cosmos. <sighs> and if we go out, there will be nothing. But a cold, dark. You know, it's a very like humanity is special conceit, isn't it? Oh wow, geez. Okay, act two then, huh? Um. Oh geez. Okay. Athena, the founder was here. She could still be here. What if this? This is why she left to build all this. And maybe we have to look for her. I'm reading some pretty big energy spikes. Yeah, I just I got a jolt of 300% whatever there. Could be right here, right behind the next door. I could turn around a corner and walk right in. Yeah, okay, her. Byron, you stay here then. If she's really here. She'll still be here when we come back. Ah, see. Right Al now, speaking the logic. To come first. Let's go, Byron. You oh. Damn you, but you're right. <laughs> Heading Wow. Back. All right, well, oh, things are a little shaky, huh? Uh-oh. Did we do a bad? Did we uh, kick up the wrong dust here? Should we not have, not have come over here? Not too late. Already ding-dang-darnel solved the puzzle, so uh, can't take it back. <laughs> else to do here. I, I imagine as we get closer to to back to where we're supposed to go here, it's going to be like all earthquakey and shit. Actually, is it still doing the whole shakerooski thing? Eh, not really. Oh, whoa, wait. Whoa. Oh, that's weird, huh? That was weird. Is that... I didn't just hallucinate that, right? That was a thing. It was the tree was all wavy and shit. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, that's not a good sign. Okay, yeah, maybe we should get the fuck was out of here. Really the founder? I think so. It was her 
For years, I've wondered what happened to her, why she left, where she went. So many questions. Why she didn't call or write. If the yeah. answers are here, I promise Oh, right, because Byron's number seven, isn't he? He's like one of the first, whatever, Fellowship of the Robots or whatever it was. He's all... He's all angry that even though he was one of the special ones, he's not one of the special ones or something, right? Has been here the whole time? We don't know that she actually built it. All we know for sure is that she was here at some point. Of course she built this. Oh, Byron. Who else would have the kind of vision necessary to accomplish something like this? The question is why? All right, all right. Let's not perform fellatio on the memory of the founder too hard here, Byron. Come on. Jeez. I can't imagine any other explanation. But why is it so broken? Yeah. Or does it right. just appear to be broken so that we have oh. to learn how to fix right. it? So there's the I other ones were this. Whoa. Oh, well, no, it's closed. I know one it's thing closed. for sure. Everyone in New Jerusalem is going to go absolutely nuts. Everyone, though? I feel like Purple is going to be chill about it. Oh. Probably shouldn't jump down there. <laughs> uh, that better not replay all those voice things. It put us all the way back here, but I just wanted to look around because I accidentally went to the correct place the first time. It's just like you know what? Here's your punishment for doing so. Here's the critical path. Yeah, Neil. Yeah. Fucking, fucking Neon Neil. Oh my God, bro. Oops, did I go backwards? I went backwards. They they spawned me and turned around. I didn't notice until I ran like fucking 300 meters here. Okay, well, where the fuck else... Where did everybody else go here? Why did I accidentally put myself on the critical path here? Yeah. There's the door, blah, 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 that Melville had to open for us or whatever. I think, yeah, Yakut went that way because he's like, oh man, creepy ass elevator or whatever. I guess Byron and or Melville must have gone this way. Oh, yeah, energy shit, right? That was probably Melville's path, so I don't know where the fuck Byron went. Oh, probably this way, huh? Oh, right, because he went over and jammed his hand in here. Well, let's do that. Rust. Yeah, don't spawn thinking, eh, the rest of the rest of the Chinese, blah, 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 uh huh, uh huh, huh. Okay. Is that actually a, actually a poem from Tennyson there? Could be. We'll admit, uh, literature was not my most favorite of subjects during my education. I thought it was boring. I thought it was boring and dull, and I hated being asked, like, oh, what do you think this means? Like, well, if you really, if you really want me to say what I think this means, you're gonna fucking fail me. <laughs> so I had to find, the, like, the, the appropriate amount of answer that I didn't really believe to pass the fucking classes. Um, all right, let's get out of here. All right, take us back to base camp, Yakut. Yes, sir. I'm getting some new readings. Looks like two of the northern sites are lighting up. Excellent. I think that may have been me. Excellent. Good job, Melville. Puzzles are somehow tied to the transport system, like we're supposed to solve them in a particular order. Yeah, the reading was okay, right? Some, some of the stuff we read was was pretty all right. Interesting, thought-provoking, etc. It was like, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. What, what, what's your interpretation of this? And you know, sometimes when you actually answered it, like, truthfully, like, oh, yeah, I think it means this. We're like, nope, that's not it. Like, well, what the fuck? Why'd you even bother asking? Ugh. <laughs> Objective is getting back into the megastructure. 
One K, I want you on puzzles. You seem to have a knack for them. Wow, the thanks, Byron. Neglect our secondary objectives of studying this island. I'll do it, but not because you told me to. <laughs> Shit ass. Okay, wait, what are we supposed to do? Are we go into the other ones? Is that the whole deal? All right, okay, we got two of the northern bits now. All right, very good. Desolate Island or uh, Flooded Valley. Okay, well, north one, I guess. Ah, <sighs> see? This motherfucker, what are you looking at? What do you think you're gonna find out by looking over here? Like, it's pretty. We got a job to do. Well, I mean, I got a job to I don't know what the fuck your job is, Byron, but I got a job to do. It involves puzzles. But okay, um... Is this one gonna shoot us off to the north here, or is this just gonna take us back to the... East. I don't want to go back to the east. Or is it gonna like let us choose? It's gonna be like pick our destination. Yeah, perfect. All right, great. Uh, north one, please. You should be headed towards an island off the northern coast. The terrain's pretty rough, so be careful. I feel like there should have been a Melville voice clip there. I feel like Melville and Yakut should be having a talk here, but we're not hearing whatever it was. They did the little activity, team's activity blip there. Oh well, hope it wasn't anything important. Good, yeah, just when I need to fucking see a snowy ass landscape. Why does art need to imitate life? Ugh. Oh yeah, that's a good question. Would it be in the log? I guess once we um once we reach our destination here we can look at it. Let's see what they are talking about. Probably nothing, but you know. Let's see here. Um, oh yeah, look at that. Towards an island off the northern coast, blah blah blah. There's another island attached to it. Several. <laughs> okay, Melville being Melville. Very good. That's fine. Um, that's Melville's analysis of the particle things. Totally outside of understanding, etc. And then Nikut being like, oh, this is weird. And like, yeah, yeah, it is. Alright, but that doesn't matter. Because we got puzzles to do. We got puzzles to solve. Lasers, jammers, tunnel things. Fun stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, and I guess we're going to some floating island stuff, too. Alright. We're here. Cool. Oh, I see. Interesting. And since we can see all these things immediately, it looks like one of the hidden bits is already down there. I mean, it's good to get a... a lay of the land from up above. You know, the other hidden one is probably over there, just based on the compass thing, which is, uh... Which is cool. I like that. We don't need to spend so much time fucking around looking for shit. And the major bit here, once we solve the puzzles, is right there. Very good. Oh, and somebody got out here ahead of us somehow. I don't understand how, because it's capacity of one there, but all right, Yakut, what's up? What, what you see, man? Miranda is the founder's daughter. Okay, it's yeah. It's still kind of blowing my mind. Huh? Huh? She came all the way out here, left everything she had behind, and created a new life. Why do you think she did that? I don't know, man. Uh, creating your life is beautiful, yeah. Maybe she's lonely, also, yeah. Help her with her secret project, also, I mean, yeah. We've got three equally possible answers here. Um, I don't know, maybe she was lonely. Could be. I know I've sometimes felt... I've felt really lonely. Okay, yeah. Even when I was surrounded by people. Like, there's something inside of me that just can't connect mm, 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 like there's this deep sadness about 
about the world. Shit, Yakut. That is, uh... About everything. That is very human. <laughs> I don't know. I Extremely don't know. human. Sorry. And I don't Probably. like it. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, the world isn't all that bad. Don't be sorry. I'm here for you if you ever want to talk. I often feel the same way. I don't know how to... Oh, that's a bad answer. Um, don't be sorry, man. Don't be sorry. Thanks, okay. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. You coot you us best buds. Best buds. I also wanted to ask you about something else. Um Uh how are you feeling? I'm not sure to be honest. This is all so surreal. Walking around here is so peaceful, but it's also I don't know. Unnerving? One moment I feel inspired. Scary. The next kinda creeped out. Creeped out? That's acceptable, yeah. Um, I the northern part of the island mostly underwater. Our ancestors relied heavily on fossil fuels. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. Which released a lot of and also do dioxide. still. This caused the atmosphere to trap more heat, uh -huh. which changed the planet's overall. Uh huh. Climate. Uh huh. The effect continued even after they were gone, and these low-lying areas were flooded. I've seen a lot of places like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You ever meet the founder? No, I never did. Okay. I would have loved to. Uh, it... <laughs> uh, we'll get to the we'll get to the fucking zinger a little bit later here. What did you make of the mega structures interior? You know, people throw around the word awesome a lot. I probably do it too, but I think what we saw in there is the proper meaning of the word. Yeah, awe inspiring, right? We you change your mind about trying some puzzles? No. Nope. Ah, oh, you're good. Oh, come on, really? All right, he zinged us right back with a fucking one word. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, that's the way down. Oh, good, Byron. Can't wait. All right, Byron. Uh, fine. How can I help you? I <laughs> you don't want to ask that, Byron. Um, tell me a joke. <laughs> How many robots does it take to change a light bulb? None. That's drudgery work that a human should do. Replacing a light bulb is a waste of resources, and the founder would be outraged. Uh, I hate it when I'm right. Fucking. That's terrible. <laughs> you know, Herman had the same reaction. <laughs> okay, you schedule a meeting next week. Byron would be exactly the type to do that, though. Like, don't. Don't encourage him, man. Don't encourage him. Uh, what if Athena left the island long ago? Then at least we may be able to find out what happened in New Jerusalem. Why she came here. But I don't think she left the island. I think she's still here. Okay. Waiting for us to make the right choices. Uh, okay. I mean... What makes you think that? It's hard to articulate. I'll try anyway. There just seems to be so much intent okay. here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, There's nobody sets up random ass puzzles, right? And Athena is the only reason that makes sense. Hmm. If I agree with that. Um. Why do you believe that there should be more? Does Byron believe that? I guess he does, right? Why do you believe there should be more people? I think every single human being is completely unique, and every instance of consciousness <laughs> is a miracle. Yeah, probably more than you know, Byron. The more of us there are the more alive the universe is. And the more we all interact with each other, the more complex the life of the universe becomes. Okay, I guess. So I believe that people are a fundamental good. I don't believe we're all flawless. Mm. I, don't <laughs> us I don't know about Precisely fundamental good, Byron, but uh, okay. Uh, you think megastructure can be misused? Could be, yes. <clears throat> All technology has the potential to be misused. Yeah, yeah. From fire and the wheel to whatever makes these particle clouds. But that doesn't mean it has to be. Yeah, it's a very non-committal answer. Uh, does your faith in humanity ever waver? In the principle of it, no. Whoa. It, Bold. It's not just that I believe humanity is fundamentally good, although I do. <laughs> it's that I think sentience <laughs> is the foundation of everything else. Ah. What's the point of stars and galaxies, of hills and forests, without someone to perceive them? But 
I don't know, man. The universe is a machine. That shit just happens. We can actually grow up. That we can break out of these loops and take control of our destiny. That's something I struggle with every single day. Okay. All right. Uh, how did Herman get elected? Herman? Honestly, I think he makes people feel safe. Okay. The world beyond our walls is frightening. Uh huh. Human history is full of failures and disasters. <laughs> it sure is. It's is. easy to look at that and recoil. Oh yeah. Herman offers a vision of the future that feels contained, manageable. Mm hmm. I see. Um. Oh boy. It's a fantasy, a return to a golden age that never existed. Oh boy, that's pretty accurate. Fantasy, life will always be a struggle. Well, that's pretty accurate too. Is that so bad? I mean, I kind of think it's a little bad, yeah. Uh, what do we sacrifice to gain that safety? Well, that's a good-ass question. That's a good-ass question. Shit could always be worse, right? But it could sure be a hell of a lot better. Uh, what do we sacrifice? Blah, blah, blah. Precisely. Our curiosity, our creativity, mm. our ability to grow. Kind of don't like that I sort of agreed with are. Byron there. <laughs> to me, that's not worth it. Um, alright. This is the problem why did our ancestors destroy themselves? Oh, boy. Well, that's the million fucking dollar question, isn't it? Uh, you believe in the existence of something sublime or transcendent? One of the implications of Melville's analysis of the particle clouds are notice that Miranda called Athena her mother. I mean, yes, all of these, but yeah, sure. She did, <clears throat> yes. I mean, yes, I was I was there. I experienced it. Is that usual? Some people in New Jerusalem choose to live in family units. Kay. Although, usually, that involves marriage or equivalent ceremonies, Kay. not having children. You could say that <laughs> Athena was a kind of mother to us, and Kay. Cornelius a kind of father. All right. But it's not quite the same. I, I mean... Yeah. Yes, biologically speaking, robots begetting other robots isn't exactly this. Whatever. Um, technology isn't the problem, blah, blah. Oh, okay, this is back to whatever, right? Uh, yeah. Why did they destroy because themselves? They refused to grow up. They refused to take control of their lives. Huh? They let bureaucrats and financiers oh. determine their destiny. Oh. And those people could not think beyond oh. themselves, beyond the tiny. Insignificant oh no! In. Oh no, Byron's right. <laughs> really failed, oh no! Oh shit! Oh, Byron, no! Why though? <laughs> uh, what do you think Melville's analysis means? I'm not sure if I want Byron to continue to be right. Athena was always trying to understand the reality underneath what we perceive, the objective truth. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's why she was capable of leaving the simulation. And even after she was free, she never stopped trying to understand more. I suspect her research took her another step closer to understanding the truth. Uh-huh. And such steps always challenge our conception of the universe. Yeah. That's the wonderful thing about science. We can adapt our views to the evidence. Okay, yeah, 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 all right. Uh, do you believe the existence of sublime or transcendent? Blah, blah, In blah. In the sense of an interventionist deity? That's no. not what, okay, good. I wouldn't rule out the possibility, but it's not something I personally believe. <sighs> okay, okay. But I do think there is Agnostic, something that's, that's fine. in this universe, and it's right in front of us. Consciousness. Mm. The fact that this sense of self is even possible that an arrangement of matter can produce a self-aware mind? Think about it. I am thinking about it. That's the point, isn't it, Byron? Breakable law. This guy. The inherent capacity to become more than the sum of its parts. That is the definition of transcendence. Okay, that's all. Thanks, Byron. Thanks. I guess. Oh, whoa, he just disappeared, what the fuck? Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, I wonder what it was like when the ancients were Oh no, I don't like that Byron conversation. Lively, 
not always in a good way. Interesting times are great to read about. Ah. Really great to experience. Oof, yeah. Okay. It's pretty fucking real. But they left behind so much art and philosophy and religion. And so many strange stories. Mm hmm Is New Jerusalem like that? <laughs> it was in the beginning. Ha. Oh, boy. Okay, well, oops, we kind of took the path down to number eight here. I don't want to do that. But there is, uh... There's one of the quote-unquote lost ones over here, right? So, may as well just do that first. Jump right in. <clears throat> see what we can see. Interplay. Hey, I remember that company. They did good shit way back in the day. Not so much now. Um, alright. Fan. Button. Box. Some laser bits. Very good. A chest-high wall that we can just jump over? Okay. Um... Why is that even here? Um, thing, single laser bit. Alright, well. Let me see. Act in two parts, I suppose. Uh, red source, another button. Which, what is, not clearly that does that, but what is that supposed to do? Oh no! Hello, new friend? Oh, this is like Road to Gehenna all over again, right? Because that was supposed to be <clears throat> like the prison simulation or whatever? Um. Okay. Uh, alright, and then a blue bit, and then there's the solution. There's the end, right? Red bit. And then another button. Oh, which opens that? Okay. Ah, I see. Uh, well, let's see what we got here. What's that gonna do? like? What is that? Oh, I see. All right, we're gonna need to get the box over here. There was a box, right? I think there was a box. Ah, oh, that's the red source. Hmm, okay. Pretty sparse. Pretty sparse. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, the box is on the switch over there. And I can't... Oh, yeah, because it's the only thing I got to hold that down right here. So, alright. Okay. Hmm. Well... I need that first. Where the hell is the red source? Oh, it's probably over there. Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, mm okay, that, that, that. Yeah, there's the red source there. But, uh. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um, flip. Flip. Yeah, okay, so I need to unlock. Please be friendly. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on you just in case. Yeah? You're just not gonna do anything? It's gonna stand there. Okay. Um. Okay. Sure. Weird. Um, can I put that? I can't just put it here. What is, what's gonna happen if I, yeah, it just gets blown off. That doesn't matter. That doesn't work for nothing. Alright. Well, we've got red connected here then, so if I eventually get the box over on this side, I'm just confused why this one didn't, like, walk out. Seems weird. Seems weird. Cause I mean, the only way I could I don't have anything else to hold this button down, so it's not like I can go over and talk to them. Whatever. 
Okay, well, what else we got on this side? We got blue. We got red. We got a box. Oh. Uh. Well, if I do this, I'll uh, see. I'd like to just be able to grab one of them, right? But I don't think I can. Um, is there something else, perhaps? Because I can climb over that at any time, and I can't climb a ladder while I'm holding this, right? Yeah, drop it first. Okay. Uh, well, that's interesting. Okay, um, can I... You know, let's put this there. That's too tall, huh? Yeah, I can't just jump over it, right? Hmm. Well, what if I do this? Yeah, this doesn't really... Can I just... Oh, I can't grab it. doesn't matter. Hmm. That's interesting. So where's the blue source? The blue source is on the other side, right? So I clearly need the box over here. I need to connect this to the blue source that's... somewhere not in sight, right? Here. But what in the world? I'm confused. Very confused. How the fuck do I get this thing out of here? How the fuck do I go talk to that other robot when I can't hold the door open and walk over there at the same time? Hold on a second. What was was there anything else up there besides uh, just jumping over to the other side here? Clearly, I can jump in here for no particularly good reason right now. Can I? reach my robot arms down and grab this from up there? Probably not, right? That would be silly. Yeah, no. We ain't reaching that. Oh, okay. I think I see. Because then I would need to have The blue laser, like, I need to target it up here. Oh, but I wouldn't have the angle to do that anyways. Well, what the hell? Well, there's that thing there, which doesn't make really much sense. Let me grab this anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can we just put this here? Yeah, it just gets blown off right away, because we don't have a box under it. Like, hey, can I just... Oh, 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 jeez. Okay, you know, this is probably something I would have learned by not going to one of the lost bits right away, huh? What the? Yeah, what the is right, Melville. What the fuck? Weird. Is that what I look like? Oh, no. Oh, no, there's two 1Ks. I don't get it. Okay, all right, this makes more sense now. Because now we can go, like, brap, 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 brap. Weigh that down, right? That door is now perma open. Um, but then what? <laughs> oh, I think I see. Actually, here. Um, so which one is the real me then? Oh no! Um, I just need to take this and kind of be like. Oh, no, I can't do that. Why doesn't it... I can't connect to the laser whilst I'm floating up here. Boo! Um... 
Well, actually, that's a good question. Let me take that. I'm gonna stand right here. And I'm gonna do that. Okay. No, still doesn't like that. Hmm, I see. I see, I see. This is interesting. Okay. Um, well, now with two of me, right? We've got another thing which to, to weigh down a button. And, uh, instead of this, you know, thing, right? One of me can weigh this down. Can I, uh, take control through a grate? We can. All right, there we go. Then one of me can hold down the button. The other me can take the box. Uh, take the... Oh, right. Left click. Uh, take the box over to the other side. Yeah, there we go. And now we can do that. And that. And do... Oh. And do that. Which open... I mean, I don't need to open that one up no more. Right? Um... Then what? Because there's another crystal thing over there. I guess I can, uh... Well, now that I can just do this, right? I need the second one back over here. To hold open, or to hold on the fan, right? That actual me? I forget which one is now actually me. If it even matters, probably not. Uh, can go grab the other, the other little laser thing. There we go. Okay, and then I don't need that anymore, presumably. Um, but I do need to get back up there with this other laser thing. And then, presumably, I can do blop. And blop. Uh, does this count? No, because it's not, we're not high up enough, are we? Um, but, but, if I do, like, just sit this right there, no, oh, right here, yeah, 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 we can do that, and then, oh, is that going to be floating up high enough to do this? I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's just put this, like, right here, there we go, and then that. And can we target this from here somehow? Oh, yeah, barely, sure. And then that, and put it up here. That, oh yeah, look at that. But now I need my other self to do this, so. Let's uh, get you over here. Uh, put you right there, I guess, so we can do this. Stand your ass right here, right? And then we got it. Okay, so maybe picking one of the lost bits first was uh, <clears throat> not the brightest of ideas. But hey, now all of the other ones should be that much easier, right? So uh, I guess... Yeah, does it matter? Like we look the same, right? It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. All just robots anyways, right? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that was initially how we got in here. Um, just kind of crawl over here a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Come on, this would have been a good secret over here. Like, behind everything? I'm sure if we try to even barely crawl down here, they'd be like, Nope, sorry, you did a bad. Let's see if there's something down here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Right, because there's the railway in, yeah? So where the... 
I'm surprised it's letting me do this. Where is it? Like, what could this be? Surprised it didn't, like, smash cut me back to wherever. Uh, okay. Well, while we're here, let's take a look around. Oh, that's that's deep ass water. All right, no, we ain't doing that. Oh shit! Uh, did um. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, good. A mega thread thing. Good things always happen in, in mega threads. Oh, it's a containment thread though, so that's fine. Uh, this is the presence of the founder. Blah 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 blah. Still in shock. Ah, Founder's still alive, huh? <clears throat> Could be aliens. Oh, man, Jacques, come on. <laughs> Not aliens. Prometheus, Pandora, and Sigurd, and one apparently chain the other. Maybe returns infinite. Oh, God. Thank you, the pirates, wait to want an expedition. In fact, it's the Founder's will all along. Oh, here we go. Where the games are going to help you in the Founder <laughs> Boy, this mega thread's starting off real good. Uh, it's wonderful to hear and his voice again with all the emotion here in this matter. Should be careful not to get swept away. Okay. Uh, it's, it's good moderating influence there. <clears throat> yeah, one of my friends, her daughter, was Athena trying to start a new civilization when she abandoned New Jerusalem. She's always a leader, maybe she just wanted to experience something private. And yeah, like, I'll hedge towards that. That's a very human thing to, to, to do and want, right? It's none of our damn business. Wow, that was a very quick mega thread. What was that? You know, 12 posts? They already fucking locked the thing? Jeez, wow. Future's weird, man. All right, let's see what we got around here. Like, why did they let me go so clearly out of bounds? In the end, the sea will claim everything. I have no doubt that this is true. Okay, Byron, not sure I didn't really ask. Entire regions have disappeared under the waves. Uh -huh. Places like Beringia and Doggerland still echo in our Do cultural memories. Do Doggerland? But we shouldn't forget that Is that a real thing? In the sea. We are the children of the sea. And it's not through floods and ruin that the sea will claim everything, but through us. Okay, well. <laughs> Is it at least gonna make this worth our while? I feel like there should be something. Something, like even like a little ancient artifact thing. A little rusted ass sticky hand or something to, to find out here. Eventually it's gonna smash cut us back to inbounds, right? Okay, that's clearly a non-solid object. <laughs> like, ah, I'm gonna jump on this. No, I'm not. All right, very good. Okay, this looks relatively, uh... Oh yeah, look at this. They did intend us to come out here. Uh, huh. Okay, let's we'll see where this is gonna go. Oh, oh, oh! This uh, landing is not gonna be pleasant. Where the? Uh, okay. <laughs> what in the world? Um, there's got to be something more to that, right? Why would they put that out there? Okay. Oh, oh, I think I see. Okay. 
Some other power lines ass thing going on here. Okay. And it's sort of like a path, right? So, okay, so it definitely did mean for us to go on here somehow, right? For some reason. Kind of wild. that just leads back to there. Okay, well, it's marked on the compass now, too. So, is this one of the stars, maybe? No, oh, this is different. This isn't the little fan thing that uh, put me back up there. Alright. Weird? Okay, yeah, it's a little interface thing. Fuck. What we got? Oh, more Trevor. Great. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Um, where could he turn turn a shevskis? You know, like this. This is humankind reaching adulthood. Uh, bleep, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. Uh, founding, we're founding journals from Hypatia. Hypatia, perhaps? Bit of an instant today, nothing major, but it still woke us all up. Yada yada yada. <laughs> oh no, is this a recounting of future robot humanity discovering milk? Uh a kind of hard to get those livestock and squeeze them for liquid. And that hard to believe. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Passive at first friendly even if the manager started studying for a while, which went well until a group of wolves. And the clearing causing a stampede. It's alright. It's a couple scratches and torn wires. Close call. King wall. Alright. Never mind. Wasn't as fun as I was hoping. Alright, Trevor. Good. Can't wait to hear what Trevor's got for us this time, right? Now I have to talk science fiction for a bit because I love science fiction. Oh good, a sci-fi nerd. Nuts. There's this cliche that shows up over and over, and every time someone uses it, everyone pretends it's really profound. <laughs> It was something like this. Uh -huh. A scientist invents something good. Okay. But, oh no, it's actually really bad. <laughs> you could have something that makes your life better, but no, you can't. How dare you even want it? That's hubris. That's playing God. And I... it's never anything that reflects the real world, right? It's never, oh no. It isn't? You invented a vaccine for cervical cancer. Oh no, you invented a new class of antibiotics. Oh no. You cured malaria. How dare you? Those diseased <laughs> mosquitoes are way more important than human Trevor. lives. Trevor. How did science fiction become so reactionary? Trevor. You know, if we all thought this way, you guys <laughs> please <wouldn't> exist. At least please <laughs> with me. She please. has good taste. Wow, okay. Um boy, I don't even know how to unpack that one. Uh so we'll just leave it alone. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so that that was it. That was the big like out of bounds ish thing. Oh, I'm a little disappointed. And now where the fuck is it letting me go this time? Ah, oh, if that was the only thing that's out here. You know what? I'm just gonna walk into the sea. <laughs> I don't want to walk all the way back. Where is it going to put me back? Alright, so there are things outside. Out of bounds, but... Oh, it just puts me back here. Damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Come on! <laughs> I gotta walk my ass all the way back up there. Where's that fan thing? Maybe it was the other way. Yeah, you're right. It was the last thing we touched, right? It doesn't make sense, but even still. Hopefully the fan thing is just over the rise here. It is not. Could just follow the path of the little glowy sticks back up there, too, but... Where would be the fun in that? Okay, I think this does lead back to the fan, because... There's all these weird, like, non-solid icebergs over here. 
Or at least the one we could get to was non-solid. Yep, there it is. Okay. Wild. Oh, there's a bench out here, too. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's pretty. Very pretty. Whee! Alright, I guess we can just get a, an eyeball of anything else on this side of the island. Besides that thing. Waste of time, that one was. Alright, and that looked like a little Sphinx thing up there, so that's probably one of the stars. Get our butts up there. Oh, the actual path to it, too. So let's see, I voted that the Sphinx things were, uh, oh, this is number seven as well. I think the Sphinx things were the non-laser ones, right? So now if that, oh, well, we got some buttons. Okay, well, I imagine that's probably for the Sphinx thing. Let's see. Yeah? Oh, well. Uh, hmm. I see. Well, I see a C, an A, and a T. Oh, I I think I get it. Oh, well, maybe I don't. But I imagine that probably popped the thing being like, maybe I want to reference this later. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. I, th I think I see what's going on here. But, um... If I knew... So where are we? We are, like, northwestish Of the thing. So this is C up here, presumably? Okay. I think I... I I think I see what's going on, too. So we'll just kind of set this up and come back to it, I think. Let's see, right? Or do they want us to do the inverse of it? Do C like that, right? That probably makes more sense to me right there, but, um, okay, we've got a, a little thing there. And then when we get to the other puzzles, I guess since we're all the way the fuck out here, we may as well do number seven. Red shifts. Okay, Doppler effects and shit. Okay, yeah, more of the take control bits here. Uh, we've got a laser thing that we cannot get to probably without the help of a box take platform oh oh I see oh I see yes I uh, yeah okay um can we jump up on that oh see that'd be that'd be cool if we could jump up on that uh however okay well we know we've got a platform here that's another new thing uh, oh, yeah, I see. Okay. <clears throat> doot, 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 doot. Jump on that. Take control. Walk my other self over here to grab this thing, right? Whoop. Oh, whoa, geez, whoa, sorry. Oops. Didn't mean to fuck you off of there. Wrong button. That. Yoink. Alright. Um, red. And... Oh, I probably wanted to stay on top of that so I could jump off there, right? Uh, alright. We got red and we've got blue. We got a blue source over there. Um, which... I guess we... Oh, no, but we can't. Oh, can we use the, um, here. 
Give me, give me that platform back, please. Um, can we just use it like this? And be like, hey, put that on there, and then put that blue, and blue, and put that on the platform? Or I probably need to be holding it. I probably need to be holding it. Oh, no, I can't, because it doesn't light up when I'm holding it. Uh, well, let's see what we got. No, it doesn't even let me put it down there. Okay. Um, the take control bits, I think there was a couple like that in TP1. Definitely not the holding platforms bit. Some of this is brand ass new. Um, okay. I think at the very least I'm gonna need... Probably to jump one of me's over there. Over, uh, I guess this one. Whoop. Okay. Oh, the recorders. Yeah, those were awful. I didn't like those at all. Those were very kind of unpleasant. Those were the real mind benders, which I guess were neat puzzles and all, but I did, yeah, I, I was not a fan. Not an extremely big fan of those. Um, hmm. Okay, now I'm a little confused. Because that was the whole bit where you could do a, a series of actions and then you had to hit the bit and then it would replay it as if you were a ghost or whatever. And then you had to do a bunch of timings and to make sure shit went off at the right moment. And, ugh. It was uh, definitely a mind bender for sure. Um, okay, so, all right, there's the me with the platform, right? You know what, I'm just gonna do that for now because I'm curious if I can just do, let's see, there's a red source there, which I don't necessarily want. Or do I want that like that? Here's what I'm curious about. Let's, um, red source, red thing. Uh, oh, that's the, that's the solution, though. That goes to the little end bit. No, I don't want that. I want to do the blue bit here first. Where the hell is the blue source? Okay, the blue source is there. Um, so then that makes me think. Blue, blue, there. Put that there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's what I was thinking about earlier. But then what? But fucking then what? Because I don't have a second laser bit. Do I? No. I just got the blue one. And I guess the red one needs to... No, because that one's blocked off. So... What's the name of this one called again? Did it have a name? Seven. Redshift. Redshift. Oh! No, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, I was halfway there. So, yoink. And then let me connect these up. Red. Red. Put this back on this, right? And then be like, hey, you, move over here to connect the red one instead, hey? And then, oh, oh, I need to move my other butt over uh, into like a, a selectable area, right? There we go. Hey, there we go. Aha, clever, I like it. On the particle clouds, Melville? To be honest with you, Hope that's not actually me standing over there. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It does seem like you can connect anything to anything. It just depends on what's already flowing through it, right? Sure. Just give them another thousand years. <sighs> 
But all right, okay, so that was number, what, seven? Yeah, good job. And then that's the, uh, one of the Sphinx things up there, uh, off to the northish west, right? Um, and then we got the little thing that was the palm scanner over there, and then... These seem, like, at least the way these are numbered, these are much less linear than the first grouping of areas. Kind of wandered around a lot. Although, that was my fault, I guess. So, let's just kind of weave our way back down here, yeah. And which one is this? Is this the other lost one? Oh no, this is the Golden Gate thing. Okay. The three stars plugged in there, yep. Or the six, rather. Oh, finally! Yeah, here we go. Look at that. Look at that indicator of which one we should have started with. <laughs> oh, but here's probably the lost lab thing, too. So, hey, alright, we're getting all the tough shit knocked out right away. Tough to find, etc., etc. Oh. Oh, goody. Well, so now technically I, I think we've seen 1001 and 1002. So, uh... So we're making new robots all over the place here. Uh, 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 uh. uh Athena, how you doing? Some people say to ask Cornelius about you. Uh, Cornelius is, is, is grieving, etc. Uh, Byron stands for some say Byron stands for the truth others say, others say he's a fanatic and a radical and we should listen to the mayor I mean these are all they're all talking about like Absolute endpoints of a continuum here, right? Which don't exist um, No way of getting a straight answer. Why did you abandon blah 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 blah? Yeah, okay all right. um, Thank you for everything you did for us. I'm grateful for the life that I have which would not exist without you I hope that wherever you are now you are at peace. Okay, well that's a uh... That's a bit more of a positive one there. And then talking about more more trials and shit. Point one two. Successfully deployed. That's established to avoid interference for successful duplication of advanced machinery. Um groping in the dark, oh boy. Uh blast, rerun trials. Twelve twelve through twelve ninety-four. Maybe guys trying to make an amplifier from scratch, okay. Um, and then, <clears throat> whatever the fuck this is. Well, Melville, I hope you like whatever the f yes, we just downloaded the there. Does something to do with energy generation. Mm. Yeah, Cold Fusion we just downloaded, right. right? Oh, and another little terminal. Ooh, well, look at those fucking standard-ass servers here, huh? Like, kind of old-ass servers, too, to think of it. Shit, sometimes the old shit works uh, pretty damn good. Damn, yeah, look at this. Alright. Hmm, uh, Bells are Zorin. Um, uh, Great Sacred Founder, okay, I believe I discovered the truth, blah 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 blah, the goal, blah 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 blah. Yeah, oh boy, yeah, alright. Not gonna read through all that, I'm pretty sure I know where that's going. Uh, the shutdown, huh? Oh, I'm asking the onside there's the reactors began to slowly wind down, the workers saw the activists fought against the decommission seemed crushed. What are we talking about? Talking about nuclear power here. Last minute of a reactor, 70 more years. Wow. Minimal land footprint, almost zero emissions. No oh no. No. Well, I mean yeah, I could still be talking about nuclear. Intermittency became a jumble of words, blah 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 blah. It was Okay. Uh, yeah, the one that's from the sky up above you. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely talking about nuclear then. Uh, poof. Oh boy. Yeah, it's. Oof. Time you regret this, it'll be too late. But I don't know if I care anymore. Maybe you have it coming. Oh. Oof. Uh. Oof. Uh. Oh, that's that's some rough stuff there, huh? Actually, I mean, look at that picture. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's a rough patch of humanity right there. Uh, let's talk about cliches instead. Uh, if you use the concept to keep in mind the thought terminating cliches, type phrase on the slogan, it sounds meaningful, but it's not really meant for anything. An example from our history, some of the simulation might say it's the will of Elohim. <laughs> it serves the process. Yeah, fuck you, Elohim. And that would be that. Case closed. That was how many iterations never advanced further because of that. Uh, thought terminating cliche is not the same as a lie. I mean, yeah, I suppose, technically speaking. Well, it'll contain elements of truth, blah, blah, blah. We must protect, blah, blah, blah. We're ex nation, philosophy, public order, even the planet. Well, you may agree with that. Element, all kinds of assumptions of how to, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. All right, yep, yeah, that's a little humanity thing, right? Very good. Very good. Well, we're not here for humanity necessarily, right? We're here for puzzles. Let's go do a puzzle. Does this one have a number inscribed into it? Uh, I can't really tell. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I don't know. I don't like that it's all connected up with the eyes open. Oof. That seems a little creepy. But hey, well, we've, we've figured out there, uh, there's stuff out here making more robots. I'm sure some are going to be happy about it, and some are going to be like, oh, no. And I'll be like, yeah, whatever. Just let me go do puzzles. Oh, all right. Okay, well, let's walk back and do puzzle one now that we've done number seven. But I guess eight's just hanging out here, right? We may as well do number eight. Um, you know what? We're gonna have to walk the perimeter of all these, I think, to see if there's like one of them little buttony things too. Oh, not that way though. Cause like, where where are we in terms of <clears throat> in relation to what this is describing here? There's one off to the southwestish of the thing. And we presumably did C, and then T is uh, southeast, like direct southeast. Uh, okay, I don't think we're around. Doesn't hurt to look though. Looking spree, more or less. Okay, and this would seem. All right, number eight. Okay, sure, drilling party. Oh boy. Okay, so we got a little tunnely bit. Um, that's it, huh? All right. Tunnely bit and some stairs. Ah, I see. I see. Can we get all the way, can we connect to that one all the way over there? We cannot. Oh, what happened to the, how did I drop, what? I, uh. <laughs> how did I drop that there? Okay, um, well, let's see here. Let's, is there anything on the opposite sides that we can connect to here? Oh, we can get to that one. Which is, uh, red source. A button. Red source and a button. Okay. Um. Oh, we can just barely target that on the opposite side. That's interesting. Okay. Can we do anything? Oh no. I guess it doesn't work like that. All right. Did I drop it again? Where is it? Oh no, it's over there. That's weird. It kind of let me target the the wall, but then it was just like, no, nah, man, can't actually do that. All right, we can't take control of that one from here. There's the solution bit over there. Another button. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Um. Oh. Oh no. I see. Okay. So we take control. And then we can tunnel through there, take control there. Uh, but then what? 
But then what? Can't do shit. Oh wait, we got a little a laser thing here. So then we got red and red. And then we can escape like that. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um. Uh, can I reach that from here? I can. Which means then that I can weigh this down. This and get both of us out here, right? Which means we can weigh this down and get this one. Okay, we've got a laser bit. And a lot of buttons. A lot of buttons. Buttons for days, and okay, here's a another red thing of a ding here. Um, can we go get? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um... Oh no, actually I don't. Oh, okay, actually no, I do. We need to get this thing on that side so that we can use the little tunnely bit to get it through. Um... But then that means I need to do like this and then can I go back here yep all right and then use the little tunnely bit to uh, like that take that one so that we can pull this one back out right I think does that make sense I guess it makes sense because we're gonna need to do well we can do this from here right just do that That'll open that. Ah, that closes that. I see. I see. I see. <clears throat> well, can I just do this and then do. Like, where is this gonna be? Can we just kinda do. Where's the. Okay, the red source is over there. Yeah. There we go. Do that. And now that's open for good, right? Then other, whoops, uh, other me can go through there, right? Do oh, uh, poop. Um, I think I need to rejigger this a little bit. And get the laser bit in here so that I can put it here and still have that opened, right? Yeah. Okay, grab that. That needs to be like right there. I can do this. Move this over to about here. And then get other bit to stand on that for a touch. No. Uh. No, I'm an idiot. I need this in. I need this in here. Oops, I didn't mean to disconnect that. Can we just go like that? There we go. So I need to do that, and then tunnel there-ish. No. Nope. A little bit farther over, like right there. Where the hell is the fucking laser beam going? There we go. Now that's perma open. I can get one of these through here, and then there's the thing, and then I can just. Oh, crap. Uh... <laughs> I need that other thing. Um, here, you. You're not doing anything. Um, I need you to stay on this button, I guess. And then go like, eh, and uh, eh, and don't. Ah, crap. Um, shit. Oh no, maybe this is right. This maybe this is right. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Okay, um... Shit, I think I fucked this up. 
So I think I need this other laser bit out of here. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just need this to be... I need this to be on the other side so that I can pull it through here. Yeah, so why don't you do this? Oh, you can't do this. That's right. <laughs> hmm. How did I get this thing in here to begin with? I guess I had an, an additional pair of, of robot hands here, right? Let me put this here temporarily. Take you. Do this, right? Because that opens that. Back to you. Oh, can't do that. Uh... I need you out here for, for now because I need the other laser thing. Right. So, yoink. I need both of you over here so then I can take this other laser bit out of here. And you're just going to stand there holding down that button. Good job. Through the short straw. Um, and then I need to move Crap, except I need that other one to move this other one around. Damn it. Ah. Uh, okay, maybe I can still do this. Uh. There. Uh. There. Oh, right. And there's this, which just gets it on the other side, doesn't it? Here's what I need. need to get this one on the other side. I need to put this through here, I think. But then I also need, uh... Uh... So I need to redirect this temporarily. But I can get this other one on the other side. There we go. Uh... Think. Uh... <laughs> um, I'm like one thing short here. So now that's open, which is fine and cool. Um, I okay. I think I need. Oh shit. I need that other thing back, though. Fuck. Alright. Here. I need that open. So that I can just do, like, bonk. Connect. Can I... Is there... Can I just reach through the wall? Can I crouch? Here. Like that. Oh, yeah. Just barely. Like that. Sure. Um, and now I don't need to... Oh, wait. that work? Is that doing it? <laughs> I can't tell if it's doing it. Um, is that keeping it open? It is not because that thing's closed. Sugar. Um, well, I probably need to stick it through the thing anyways, right? There. Like that. Uh... Uh... <laughs> I don't think that's right. Okay, um... I need that to open that, right? In order for that other one to shine through, which I can't fucking do um but I can do this now and maybe just take that out of there to begin with
and just move it over like right here. even need is there a oh I need a, a thing and a button over there I need to get my one of my robo butts through this now that's what I need to do so that's probably fine as is I'm gonna need oh crap I need to take that back I need to take this back I need to tunnel through the I need to tunnel through that wall Take that back. I can weigh this down and get my other robo butt through there, right? And you stand here. I can get other robo butt through here. But I also need that to be like lasered and shit, so. Um. Now we can retunnel through like here. There we go. Ah. Oh. oh no, but then I'm trapped. No, because I need the other oh, fuck. Um here. I think I Did we already get the other laser on this side of the wall? No, because we needed it on the button to hold that down. Ah shit. Is there a Am I missing a piece here? I feel like I'm missing an piece. Like there should be one more piece here. But there is not. Okay. Um. <sighs> Alright. Robot butt number three. You go over here. Because I need to shove one of the lasers through a wall. I think you're just gonna permanently hold down this button for me. Okay, sound good? Sounds good. Um, I need you to first shove that laser through a wall, though. So you do that. Just put that over there. Um, Cause we need something to weigh down that button to do whatever, right? Okay, and then you can stand on this button. Good job. Now, I need to get robo butt number two here. Uh, uh, okay, no, I think I just got the order incorrect. So never mind, we need this back for now, because I need to open that, and I need second RoboBot over here, holding down this button, so I can get in and out of there. Uh, I need now this opened up. Like right there, that's fine because I need you to put this through here. I think. Maybe a little bit further over. No, further over than that. Because I need to move this over here, and then I need to tunnel through there so that I can put it on the other side. And put it on this button, right? Oh, but I... Yeah, I can do that. Because then I need to move the tunnel to here. Oops, don't drop it. About there? No. About there. And that weighs down the button, that opens the thing, and that holds that open, right? Yes, like that. Now, I need robo butt number two shove this back through the wall. Temporarily grab this. Right over there. Shove this through the wall so we can use it, and then you go to permanently hold open that door. There you go. Okay. Then we move this back to right about there. And then RoboBot number... Shit. I need to get back through there. Crap. I had a plan. It didn't work. <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay. I mean, we got the lasers through there, right? Um. Mm, 
I think this being permanently on the button is fine, because that's holding open two doors. Right? Right. Um... I need... One additional thing. Um... I mean, unless it's more important to have the laser bit holding that down, right? And then we can kind of leapfrog a little bit. Okay, I think I think I see what I did here. Instead, do this. Take the laser thing back. Use it to hold that down. Now we've got two robots that can do this. Redirect that back to do 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 do, do there. Now we can move you in there. And now you can move through here. Uh, which is fine, I guess? No. Shit. So that's open, and now I've got a robot over here, which is fine and cool and what I needed, but... Also, there's this wall here, which is fine, I guess. So now I need that laser. <laughs> oh, wait. Now I can go, since that one's all the way through, right? Now I can go here. Drop that there. Keep that open for the laser. For now. Not like it. I don't think that matters actually anymore. I can do that. Now I've got one there. I can do that. Yeah, there we go. Fucking hell. <laughs> there we go, we did it. All impressed. And Melville doesn't impress easily. Wow, a blue car. Alright. <laughs> we did it. That one took a little bit more than it probably should have, but we did it. Okay. Um Well that definitely earned a number eight for sure. How are we doing for time? Okay, we're about at time here. So this one might be a two a two nighter for this uh, section since we did spend a lot of time fucking around. But uh, we did it. Oh shit, Melville, when did you get here? <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's up? I've been watching you solve these. Oh, I hope you didn't just see the last one though. <laughs> body replication tech is incredible. Uh huh. Uh huh. It just casually blows up the very foundations of our society. I mean, if you're gonna blow out the foundation of society, you may as well just make it casual, right? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Do you have any idea how hard it is to make more of us? I mean, I saw a dormant like a one down in that lab, so... You don't just weld together a couple of wires and a motherboard and call it a day? No, Not really? Not to mention how hard it is to even find some of the materials. Okay. Yeah. And this thing just, poof, new human. I, well, I mean, gold was to stop at a thousand, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Or was it? <laughs> and even if it was, sorry to be heretical. Hey, whatever. But does it matter? No. If I... we can figure <laughs> out how this works, we can finally, easily create more people. We can grow. We can expand. Mm. We can build a real civilization. Mm. Isn't that worth pursuing? Yes. However... <laughs> it's our cosmic duty to spread consciousness? Oh, boy. Uh, maybe there are legitimate reasons to limit the population? Also, oh, boy. Uh, I don't really have an opinion about this. Well, that's a fucking coward's way out. Uh, maybe there is some point where there's enough people, but this is not it. This is very dangerous. We decided to limit ourselves for a reason. Boy, none of these are really great. <laughs> um... I mean, I definitely do have an opinion about this. But none of the other four choices are really good. <laughs> um... Maybe there are legitimate reasons. The mayor seems to think so. Yeah, okay. Why? I don't know. I mean, I just work here. Your reasons. 
Uh, okay, what, what was the question? What are the reasons for limiting the population, right? Ah, oh, man. Wish I hadn't picked that one now. Um, goal set by the founder. She must have known what she was doing. Uh, let's not elevate anybody unreasonably, right? Uh, the planet is more important than us. We should not impose ourselves on it. I do kind of agree with that. Um, we risk upsetting the balance of nature like our ancestors did. Uh, we seem to be doing fine the way we are. Also, uh, man, Melville, why are you asking the tough questions here? Um, I'm going to go with number two again. The planet is more important. Should not impose ourselves on it. As far as I can tell, the planet is just a chunk of rock floating through space. Sure. We're yeah. the ones who see things like beauty and meaning. Yeah, okay. The just hurtles along. Yeah, uh huh. So why shouldn't we impose ourselves? Oh. Why are we so worthless oh. when we're the only ones who can even oh. appreciate the damn place? Oh, Melville. Melville, that's not. Wow, you're extrapolating a lot there um what about the risk of civilization if there's so many of us that we damage the planet yeah sorry i'm gonna take but the midground no there relation between the amount of people and changes to the ecosphere uh, not unless we're talking a uh, population of trillions uh, uh, there's nothing new to do about this <laughs> no ifs and maybes i'll run the maths it's how we use our resources. Okay. Not how many of us there are. Okay. Yeah. Sh sure. 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 Um. <laughs> I, I just, like, they're not. Oh, man. There's nuance to this. They're just not letting me pick it. Maybe we shouldn't fear growth. The more of us there are, the more likely we are to use our resources badly. I agree with that. Um, I'll have to think about it. I also agree with that. Man, Melville does not appreciate nuance in this case, I'm feeling. But I'll have to think about it. I gotta go with honesty. I'll have to think about it. You do that. I will do that. Of time when you're solving oh, come on, Melville. Don't pull a coot. Don't you be down on me solving puzzles. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it. Fucking Melville. Alright. Yakut, come on, tell Melville that solving puzzles is fine. Technology is proof of just how uh, vital this expedition is. Man. We may not know how it works and what its limitations are. But surely we should use it, right? Oh, really man. What matters is to expand oh, our imagination. Melville, please to realize that other futures are possible. Okay. And one key, just think about this. If we had stopped making new citizens, you wouldn't be here. And isn't it wonderful to exist? And doesn't that justify everything else? Consciousness is I mean, a gift. Man, Byron, I don't know. I think you're missing the point a little bit. You're missing the point, Byron. All right, uh, we got time for one more, I think. Since we did eight and seven, we may as well just follow this in descending order now, huh? Let's go do six. Fucking Byron, though. Is this Byron again? Or is this Alcatraz? No, that's Byron. Hey. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it's the golden thing again, too. Oh, now that one's got a, a lit up little big triangle. Oh, that must be the... That's the, um, the big center pyramid bit is the big triangles, probably, and then these are the normal-ass stars. Okay, well. Alright. Good to, good to know about that stuff, I guess. And we haven't found the other star bit here, either. We got the Sphinx one, we haven't found the Pandora or the Prometheus one here. Um, was this the way to number six, or did I just walk right past it? Oh no, that was the, the gate thing, right? Uh, number six is this way. Oh, and then there's a question mark too, that away. Uh, and the other hidden one is... You know what, let's do the, the other lost one. Since that's how we started here, right? Just gonna stick my hand on this glowy bit. And more reading. Okay. 
Uh, it's really important to you know, notice it first and quietly hold things together without making a big deal of it. Hey, I can I get that. Uh, Mr. Cornelius, so I was always in a thing aside, calling, carefully help us all stay on track, blah, 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 blah. People has been, you know, left them. I uh, still don't understand how she could leave and they seem to love each other so deeply after returning. He's finally found in the museum and very rarely left. I care stallers, so I don't know how all the saw has blah, 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 blah. Okay, I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, and a little poem thing, sure, okay. Prime mover. Well, it's hard from our vantage point to fully believe in any of the ancient religions. I admit that I have come to believe in the existence of a prime mover, not a designer as such, certainly not an interventionist god. Uh, that's some force that set the universe itself into motion. I do not know if it's possible or blah, 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 blah. Look upon us with love, are we entertainment? Does it preserve us? In preserve some memory of us when we die, blah, 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 yep, yep, yep. Uh, do not disbelieve those who honestly speak of having experienced so many of brief meaning, okay, yeah, the emotion of the universe proceeds from the Big Bang, so whatever force animates us, whatever comes to the true foundation of consciousness proceeds from the prime mover. Uh, sh sh sure, sure, I guess. Um, blah, 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 I thought she was intelligent to this conclusion after a great deal of thoughts, okay, yeah, all right, I get that. Perspectives and shit. That's good. That's good. Modernity. <clears throat> the book of annotated internet comments. Oh boy, I don't know that those should be put in a book. <laughs> Never read the comments. Um, if modernity is so great, why is everyone so fundamentally disappointed with the world? Ooh, yeah, big shock. Uh, when we say I have pleasure inside of old houses, feel nothing but depressed and alienated by skyscrapers. I'm here for lush forests and wide plains, narrow canyons, and between buildings. I love, blah, blah, I love this technology so much. Why is our idea of happiness to get away from it? Oh, says somebody who has not lived very long with technology, I would imagine. Um, could it be that progress is just a story we tell ourselves just by way we're allowing ourselves to be dominated by inhumanity and older forms of living has something to offer? Yada yada yada. Seems many of us share this desire to immerse ourselves in nature, that we were ourselves entirely technological beings. Well, I mean, yes and no. We enjoy the value of the Earth's diverse and unpredictable biosphere. Does that mean that progress is just narratives? It's ancient commenters. <laughs> ancient commenter. Oh man, that's a fucking way to describe it. Or does it mean the technological progression and a love of the natural world are not, in fact, mutually exclusive? I don't, I don't, I don't think they are necessarily. The left hand of some of the world is people nothing but terror. The appreciation of nature is rooted in the experience of civilization and safety. I mean, sure? Sure, I guess? He's still right. He's a bunch of, bunch of whatever answers created in the last years is alienating to the majority of people. Yeah, I guess. Not of modernity, but of control. Ooh, boy, that kind of hits it right there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting stuff. Um, but we've got a puzzle to do, so, you know, I can just sit there for a while. Um, okay, so there's another, like, little side windy path. That goes up to... Oh, that's probably the other star thing over there, huh? You know what? Let's check that first. I imagine that's gonna be a laser bit. We can see it's probably gonna be asking for a green, right? But even if it's not, we'll know what we need to look forward to here. It's a red or a blue, and then we can keep an eye out for which of these things we can toss a laser out of, right? It'd be good to know, and hopefully I remember it for next time, because we're definitely not going to get around to solving this bit tonight. Oh no, it's a Prometheus thing instead. Okay. Um... Right, okay. Oh, it's just a follow thing. Alright. So we find the Prometheus thing and we chase it back here. That's the thing. Well, that's not as exciting. Not as exciting. Alright. We are bumping up against time here, so let's do this one, this last lost one here, and then we will wrap it for tonight. And then the rest are kind of on the compass, and we can always find our way back to them. It's easy enough. Those are the marked ones. We 
we already found the lost lab <clears throat> and the out of bounds bit and we've got the little snapshot of the the sphinx puzzle too oh speaking of actually let's see if this one's got a little switchy bit on the outside of it oh yes it does okay which one so we're pointing kind of to the northeast-ish. Which one is this? Uh, it's not in the log, though. It's research. Uh, Sphinx. This one. Northeast-ish. Uh, A. Okay. Um, and if I'm going to go with the solid bits pointing out, make up the letter. That should be the one there, but this is near the other hidden bit. I'll try to remember that for next time, in case we need to invert it later. Alright, passing through. Got a laser bit. Oh no, that's a jammer. And another robot clone. And a platform. And a box. And that's it. Okay, I think. I think I see where this is going already. Um, can I set this down on here and then pick up the platform? I cannot. Oh, but... Um, but I can jump on a box, so uh, can I pick this up? Uh, I, oh, okay. Oh, okay, I see. Here, go through the, the things there. We can do this. Um, I need to get the jammer out of there, right? That's the whole deal. So, or I need to elevate the jammer such that it gets out and, and gets that one, right? So how do I do such a thing here? How do I elevate one of my robot bits here? Jump on that platform. Oh, I see. Okay. Like this. Uh, bonk, bonk. Okay. Now, can I, uh, uh, how is this gonna work? Oh, I think I see. Um, alright. Back. Grab jammer. Target that. Sure. Yeah, that's close. But not quite. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Um... Uh... Okay. I guess what I was hoping for. Oops. Uh, eh. Jump. Jump. Grab. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Doot, 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 doot. Uh, switch. Drop there. And jump out. Jump over. Oh, ah, fuck. Um, uh oh. Uh,. <laughs> um, I think I fucked it up. Um, here, restart checkpoint. I think I fucked it up. I think I've got the right idea, just the wrong, wrong execution there. Okay, um, box. <clears throat> box. Jammer. Get, uh, hmm. Mmm, where's the platform? Am I stupid? I'm stupid. Where's the platform? There it is. Platform. Uh, swap, jump, jump, swap. Swap. Jammer. Uh, before I fuck this up again...
Let's think about this. There's no other way for <clears throat> us to escape that area, right? It's not like I can just take this, right? It's gonna put me on that side. Yay. Okay. Ah, got it. Got it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I need, um... Uh, well, I think. I think I got it. What did, what did I... Yeah, what did I mean to do here? <laughs> Wait, I just lost it. Um, okay, jump, take thing. Um, yeah, I need to can turn around. There we go. Jump, jam, set down, jump up. Grab jammer. No, 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 no. Just fucking stand on the box and grab the jammer. Oh my goodness, please. No, it doesn't let me do that. Okay. Never mind. Hmm. Okay. I mean, do I want to jump there? I don't want to jump there. I want to take the fucking jammer. Dummy? Alright. Oh! Ah! I see. <laughs> so it's still jamming, and it's rotating on its own whilst we walk around with it. I get it. Ah. Alright. Very good. Very good. Okay, um, wait, what research thing is being like, hey, this is new. We already got all those. Oh, was it, oh, it was Melville's little, nice in-focus photograph there, Melville. Fantastic. Good gravy. Oh, and there's another social media thing too. Great, can't wait. Um, body replication, blah, 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 blah. I mean, we're, they're making the really big assumption that it just kind of poofs out of thin air and that it's not using any resources to make these other bodies. Like, come on. Exactly. See, look, energy just doesn't come from nowhere. You think? Goals and ideal, not just the limit, blah, 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 blah. I just want to share personal belief in the founder and understand the value of the goal. Uh-huh. Self-evident, it's not. A whole host of misanthropic ideas in the conversation of the guys of reasonableness. Oh boy, is that a human thing. Uh, I'm really around. I believe the results of human, human history speak for themselves. I find it shocking that anyone would disagree with something so obvious. Oh no, here come the asterisks. They're saying the bad words. Um, they could have sell their problems in their brains instead of preaching misery, blah, 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 blah. Morality, authority, just an academic. It's completely disingenuous. Jeez, wow. Okay, this thread fucking devolved quickly. Um, if you can't behave, I'm shutting this thread down. See, Jeremy's got the right idea here. Um, conversation is necessary. This shouldn't be banned. Yes. True. Uh, conversation is irritating, but should be allowed as a matter of principle. Uh, uh it'd be best to close this thread until everyone calms down. Yeah, well, just take it to private. I don't... I don't have to respond to this immediately, right? We can leave this. We can leave this stew for a bit. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. We'll answer that next time. <laughs> All right, we did it. We got uh, the two lost ones and then eight and seven. That leaves one through six of this area for next time. And then the two stars bits, um, which is the, the Sphinx puzzle and then finding the Prometheus bit and chasing it down, right? Um, but for now, that's good. That's good. We, we we did some stuff tonight, and that's the that's the best we can hope for. Uh, so that'll do it for tonight. 
Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. CST. It'll be Shmup Book Club. Um, some more of Trigon or Karis or Bluish Resurrection Plus. Friday, Saturday, we are off. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, it'll be long play. At this point, it's looking like more Spelunky 2 um, because I don't have a good replacement for it just yet. But there's plenty that we could uh, that we could do. Uh, the threads auto close when you enter the pyramid without warning. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, so we'll definitely address that before we get to next pyramid bit, which we've got a lot of time because we are just on the first bit of the second area. So we've got a lot of time. Thank you for the warning, though, uh, Spire 7. I do appreciate that. Um, so Sunday, probably Spelunky 2, and then next Monday, 7 p.m. CST, um, we'll be back to Talos Principle 2 here. Uh, more puzzles and more uh, debates on humanity, I guess? I don't know. I'm getting kind of a weird vibe off of this a little bit, but, you know, that's, that's to be expected. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.